angry avocado. Black rain frogs sound like squeaky toys and look like angry avocados. Look, if I've learned anything from Sonic Heroes, it's that if if you if you jump on this little guy, it's gonna start raining acid rain. I don't make the rules. Apparently, Yuji Naka does. But that's how these little squeak toys work. God, they look so upset. They look so upset that I've just uh, uh, conveyed their secrets, their their nightmare powers to the world, their abilities of weather manipulation. These frogs control the weather. Don't don't think otherwise. They can make the vines grow and shrink very fast. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Galvis. My name is Lumo, and today we are looking at R slash oddly specific. A subreddit dedicated to things that just kind of hit the target a bit too close. It's very, very, very niche. So let's just get right into it. They're coming. Using Microsoft Word moves an image one millimeter to the left. All text and images shift four new pages appear in the distance. Sirens. I have to use Office 365 for work and I despise it so much. <laughs> I remember when, back when I was in school, back when I was just a wee youngin', we were told we couldn't use Google Docs because it was lacking in features that Word had. And now, it is the better text processor. And that absolutely sends me up a wall. They also said we wouldn't have calculators on us at all times, and let me tell you, I can play the Sonic fan game that I played in the 90s on my phone. So like, screw you, teacher lady. Now I'm Jonathan Technology and you're still teacher lady. Random body swap. What people to randomly body swap with? Violin soloist in the middle of a philharmonic performance. The person in charge of counting down a rocket launch. Someone in the middle of an elaborate revenge plot or with a really bad hangover. The flyer in a cheer squad. Scratch that last one, even worse, a Cirque de Soleil performer. A preschooler, but specifically the unsupervised one that has just put a caterpillar in their mouth. Coyote Peterson. <laughs> the last one. The last one sells the fantasy to me. Imagine you accidentally body swap with Coyote Peterson just halfway around the world. You are just in your bathtub. Now you're getting stung by a tarantula hawk to slowly build up a resistance to all things insect. Which is his stated plan. You, you gotta read the secret, but you gotta read the first line in every margin of his books. That's, that's, that's the point of this. But uh, yeah, no. Terrifying, would hate that. Oh, queerness really works. Kids don't turn queer because a teacher told them queer people exist. They turn queer because their older sister's best friend gave them Annie DeFranco's first two albums on cassette. Everyone knows this. Thank you. Finally, my work is done here. Look, I, I have a lot of knowledge. This is outside of the scope of my knowledge and I'm willing to admit this. I get how computer science degrees work. I get how Fallout New Vegas works. I get that most people buy thigh-high socks with C-sharp books. I don't get this one. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta just put my cards on the table. I don't know. We're moving on. If you have context for me, by all means, comments. When you let the intern do the intro. Vinyl Scratch Sound. You're now listening to Fair Grass Sound. 1023. Elephant Sound. Real Rock FM. Explosion. Well, we play nothing but rock, rock, and more rock. Glass shattering sound. Police siren. This ain't your granny station. Imagine Dragon's Radioactive starts playing. There's a rock station in my state that does this, and it actually bothers me to no end because it used to be like they'd be playing ACDC, you know. There was this one cover of Thunderstruck, but I think it was Hinder that, like, I loved. Uh, but now it is literally just like a, a pop station. And it is the most upsetting thing because that radio station got me through a lot. Mostly commutes, but a lot. Or I drove a lot as a kid. <laughs> Would it be a musical? This is my favorite loading dock in all of Brooklyn because it looks like the set of a play about a loading dock. That is so... I... No, I love this. I love this. I love this. I don't listen to musicals. Uh, Y'all might not know this, but when musicals start, I actually go deaf. It's a rare medical condition called I put my fingers in my ears. <laughs> But no, no, the thing is, I really like this because it is well designed, but more specifically, it is well colored. It is well toned. The yellow isn't too harsh on the eyes. The burgundy red contrasts with the yellow. The white causes the highest areas of contrast to be places you want people to be looking, which is windows, doors, and important signage like slow down and reserved area, no parking. This is just well done on a color palette basis. 
And I think that's neat. Eggies in breakfast. Do you ever set two alarms in the morning when the first one is like, I'm gonna make myself eggs for breakfast and look like a snack today. And the second one is like, I'm gonna have to deal with a snack for breakfast and look like an egg. <laughs> oh my God. I used to be like this. Uh, now I'm a jerk and everyone loves me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what broke in me, uh, but I've been trying to get back on my normal 5 a.m. routine because for those of you who are new, I wake up at 5 a.m. and go to the gym. I finally got back on that schedule. I don't even need caffeine anymore. I wake up, I am up, which is unfortunate because I didn't sleep last night and when five o'clock rolled around, my body went, now is the time for energy. It was not the time for energy this time, but I did appreciate the enthusiasm. But this, I can't relate to this anymore. I've transcended. What are you waiting for? Just ask her out, bro. The worst she can do is initially laugh, thinking it's a joke, before turning to a look of disgust when she realizes you're serious, projecting you in such a way that you have crippling self-confidence issues for the rest of your life. What are you waiting for? No! Kill this mindset! It has no place. Look, you will it will hurt. It will hurt to be rejected, especially if brutally. Dude, I asked a girl to a prom and she told me if no one else asks her first, and then she still told me not to show up. Like, I get this. I do. I get this. That's why I stopped finding confidence in external factors and turned entirely internally on it. Like, obviously I still have people who I turn to and who I value their opinion of me, but my opinion of self is driven almost wholly by self. It's hard to get there, but it's worth it. This will happen. Human relationships are complicated and sucks, but you can make it a little bit better by learning to love yourself. Next post. I agree with the trio. I lack sleep. I feel you, man. Sleep is like a free trial of death. Love that sh Death, but with ads. I have lost the ability to dream and it's very upsetting because I keep remembering snippets of dreams, but I don't remember actually dreaming. So it leaves me in a vague, like, it leaves me in a weird state of like Schrodinger's REM sleep, but like, Calling sleep the free trial of death is probably one of my favorite recurring gags, and it is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. Sleep is great. Get more of it. It's really hard to fish these days. Give a man a fish, and he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish. Buy the pod. Tell him he can't have the fish, but he can fish for you. And you sell the fish, and give him a very small cut. And he'll say stuff like, I am hungry, and my teeth hurt. Nobody wants to fish these days. That was Mr. Comedy. That wasn't very funny. That just made me sad. That's just very sad. Uh, I do want to know like what this is referring to. People in the comments are saying Nestle, which I, I can believe. <laughs> like I'll say I can believe. But uh, yeah, no, upsetting. Yeah, that's a stable relationship. What if when you put your fingers in a girl's mouth to be sexy and she just made a really loud whistle? <laughs> I'm sorry, I read ahead. Hold on, I... What if you, what if you put your fingers in a girl's mouth to be sexy and she just made a really loud whistle with them that called a horse over? This one broke me. No, this one actually just broke me. I don't know how to like take this one. Like I think legally you have to ride that horse into the sunset, but like, I'm, I'm not, I don't, the pun of the title, I just got it, stable relationship. Oh my God. Oh, that causes emotional distress. It literally does! You would not be laughing if Will Smith slapped Peppa Pig then chopped her up in the tiny bits, added three-fourths a cup of minced onions, a dash of paprika, and just a sprinkle of gouda, then cooked them for breakfast on a warm Sunday morning in Delaware, would you? Lil Nas, what's wrong? What's happening? Blink twice if you're in danger. <laughs> the top comment, though, is just, he's right, I wouldn't be laughing. I'd be eating. And I would be too. That smells delicious. I've got some applewood smoked gouda in the fridge, and you know what? It's time to find Peppa Pig. They're not wrong, though. The airport is such a lawless place. You get absolutely hammered at Chili's at 11 a.m. and buy an iPad out of a vending machine, plugging every electronic you own into sketchy USB outlets, eating a $12 cinnamon roll the size of your head, and it's just like a Tuesday. What are you doing at the airport terminal? How long is your layover? How long is your layover that this is just one of many days of the week? I've been to airports recently. I know about the I know about the mythical vending machines with iPads that just showed up one day with no affiliation with Apple. I get that, I understand. But like, why are you getting hammered at Chili's at 11 a.m.? This is actually like upsetting me to think about conceptually. We're leaving. Turkey burger with pickles. Turkey burger. 
$17. Please, give me so many pickles you start to question your and my sanity. As many pickles as you can without getting fired. I'm going through a breakup and really just want pickles. Thank you. Fries or salad? Fries. <coughs> oh my god, this post came from Scamped Board. That's one of my favorite subreddits. Scamped Board is so stupid. That is just... I hope their turkey burger was just littered with enough pickles to make an entire animated cartoon out of. And that's all the time we have here today on Galbus. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, share this with a friend as a reminder that Pickle Rick is the funniest you've ever seen. If you don't want more r slash oddly specific, there'll be another one popping up on your screen in about 10 seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Galbus video. Have a great rest of your day.